Good day! This is Teacher Shannis, and I welcome you all to our math class. Without a blueprint, it would be really hard to construct a building. Without a roadmap, you'd be lost. Scale drawings make it easy to see large things, like buildings and roads, on paper. Even a GPS uses scale drawings, like this. In this video presentation, we will understand the scale drawing. With our learning target, use ratio and proportion to solve problems involving scale drawing. Let's think and understand. Kester looks at the intramurus roadmap to determine the distance of Dr. Zarizal Shrine from the National Museum. He reads the scale at the bottom of the map and uses a ruler to find the distance between these two locations in the map. Next, he uses the scale in his understanding of ratio and proportion to find the distance between these two locations. He writes the proportion to solve the problem. After solving the proportion, he realized that Dr. Sarisal's shrine is about 1,650 centimeters or 1.65 kilometers away from the National Museum. In the story problem, Kester used a map. A map is a visual representation of an area. The scale on a map is the ratio of the distance on the map to the actual distance. Example of a scale is or are 1 inch to 2,000 feet, 1 centimeter to 10 kilometers. And we have this formula. Distance on the map over actual distance or distance on the map to actual distance. That is equal to 1 to scale used on the map. Now what is a scale drawing? A scale drawing shows an object exactly as it looks, but it is generally either smaller or larger. The scale gives the ratio that compares the lens on the drawing to the actual lens of the object. Since the scale drawing and the original figure have corresponding sides proportional, and corresponding angles congruent, they are similar figures. Let's have this example number one. The drawing of bicycle has a scale of 1 inch to 2 feet. The distance between the centers of the wheels or wheelbase measures 1 and 3 fourth inches. What is the actual distance in feet? First, you have to write the related proportion, then let n be the actual distance in feet. 1 inch to 2 feet is our scale. That is equal to 1 and 3 fourth inches. This fraction form may be written in a decimal form, so we may use 1.75. In feet. We are finding in with a unit of feet. Then we apply cross multiplication. 1.75 times 2, that is equal to 3.5 or 0.5 is 1 half or 1 to 2. Over 1. Or we will divide this 3.5 by 1. The answer is still 3.5. N is 3.5 feet. Hence, the actual distance is 3 and 1 half feet. Next example. A building is 255 feet long. On a scale drawing, 1 inch represents 25 feet. What is the length of the building in the scale drawing? First, write the related proportion. Let L be the length of the building in the scale drawing. You may use any variable in finding the missing term. At this time, 
we use L. 1 inch to 25 feet is our scale. It is equal to L inch. We are finding the missing term here, which is L to 275 feet. Using the same step, we will apply uh, cross multiplication. 1 times 275 is 275. Then we have 25 feet. So we will divide that by 25. L is 11. Therefore, we have 11 inches. Hence, on the scale drawing, the building will be 11 inches long. Remember, a scale drawing shows an object exactly as it looks like, but generally either smaller or larger. The scale gives the ratio, which compares the length on the drawing to the actual length of the object. That's all for our math class. Answer practice A and B on page 131 of your math book for your activity. Remember class, that in everything we do, Jesus is glorified. To end this video presentation, I must say, thank you for watching.